Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. Today we're kicking things off in the village of Ratchet. In neutral territory. The town obviously run by the goblins. And we're going to be working on the Islander, which is the warrior quest, which should get us Berserker Stance. Your renown as a warrior grows. Now it is time to pit yourself against your peers and see where you stand. There's an island off the coast of the Barrens, south of Ratchet. It is called Frey Island, and it is a place where warriors meet. Meet and fight. Speak with the chief warrior of Frey Island, Klanak McLeod. If he finds you worthy, then Klanak will lead you further down the warrior's path. To reach Frey Island, search for the sandbar shallows along the merchant coast. So it's south of the Barrens, or in the barren south of Ratchet. Off the coast of the barrens south of Ratchet. Oops, if I can get unstuck. If I look at the map, I, I only see a couple of actual island formations. And they're actually pretty distant. And nothing could be directly south of Ratchet because south of Ratchet is actually this landmass over here. So I'm thinking it's gotta be It's gotta be one of the islands that we can see on the map, right? Of which the closest one is pretty far out. But this is the merchant coast. So we're on the right track. Might take us a while to get there. Now, I've completed this quest 13 years ago on my Tauren Warrior, assuming that it's the same for all warriors, which, with its location being off the coast, that's kind of what I remember, is it was an island. I think we're going to have to fight a few people in sequence. You know, the whole prove our worth kind of thing. Uh, but I could be totally wrong about that. We'll see. My memory is not that clear. I remember it being challenging back then. But then again, all the game mechanics and everything were fairly new to me. 13 years later, we'll see how challenging it is. Is this the island with all these, all these buildings on it? I expected something a little bit smaller, actually. But let's check it out. We know who we're looking for, so if, if we don't find the guy and all we find are random enemies... Oh look, we're getting fatigued. Are we gonna make it out there? Um, okay, let's... Maybe we're going to have to go around. Maybe we're going to have to go around. I don't want to risk it. You will begin to drown. Yeah, let's... Let's not begin to drown. Let's just take our time and we'll, we'll go around, okay? It's a better idea. Yeah, I guess that is pretty deep. If we look down, we, uh... Well, I can't see much down there. It's actually kind of terrifying. Oh, look at this. Very nice. If I was paying attention, we could have been probably running a lot more and swimming a lot less. Frey Island. This is definitely the place.
All right, what have we got here? They've got quite a setup going on here. Um. Ha. <laughs> Afray Challenger, who are you and why are you randomly attacking me? Well, we'll sort this guy out and then we'll have a look around. I hope he doesn't run. I hope he stands and fights. All right, he's down. Before we go talk to this guy, let's just have a little look around. All right, some arms and armaments. They do have quite a little fortress here and some pit fighting. Bunkhouse, makes sense. Sometimes you'll find lore books in places like this. I love the chairs huddled around the stove. That's, that's how it would be, right? Uh, nothing back here. All right, let's talk to this guy, shall we? Hey there. Hello, warrior. It's good to see you made it to Frey Island. I hope you find it to your liking. For the Alliance. If you want to learn from me, then you must first pass the affray. It is a challenge we on Frey Island like to offer rising warriors who think they're tough. And if you could pass this test, then I'll know you are. To begin, walk into the middle of that crowd yonder and step on the grate. That'll tell Twiggy Flathead you're ready, and he'll send challengers against you. Beat all the challengers, and he'll call out Big Will. Kill Big Will and return to me in the time we allow. How many people have to kill Big Will? Like, you offer this challenge to all warriors, so either you get a new you get a new Big Will every week, or nobody's killed this guy. And I'm, I'm betting on the latter. Have a good one. I wonder if he's going to be an elite. Oh, look at that! We have ten minutes. Let's step on the grate. Okay, we completed that. And now we'll, we're going to get sent random challengers. Like this guy. I think defensive stance here is fine. I think it's fine. Is he for real running away? With that much health? No. I don't think so, buddy. This guy is also running away. The hell's wrong with these guys? Hey, buddy. You're gonna bug my quest out. What's the deal? I don't like that they run so far away from where the quest is happening. I hope nothing buggy happens. Maybe they're doing that so we can kind of get a break? Notice how we kind of start out of aggro range. Oh, lovely. And see, now these guys aren't running away. I think it's actually a mechanic to let us catch a break, so I should have been exploiting that. And maybe we will have to exploit that if we actually want to live. Which we do, in case you were wondering. Here we go, yeah, he's... This is an opportunity for us, not a nuisance in reality uh, because then we can eat real fast and go back in at our leisure I hope well we have seven minutes so that was some interesting pathing that just occurred whoops 
not at all what I wanted to do, but it's fine. I like that at some point they stop and decide to fight again. Like, that's great. This is Big Will. Hey, he's not an elite, so that's that's great. And he starts off as non-aggressive. That's amazing. Let's get a good look at Big Will because this is probably the last we'll ever see of him. I mean, he's definitely taller than these other humans. That's that's true. He's as tall as we are. We're substantially taller than a human. But Big Will's days have met their end. I feel kind of bad, you know. Do we really have to kill these guys just to like prove our worth? Can we defeat them in honorable combat till one yields? I don't, I don't get it. Can I help? All right, Clanok, you masochist. He's dead. You have passed the affray. You are a worthy warrior, and I am honored to teach you. Now that you've learned your berserker stance, you'll want a nice weapon to use it with. Talk with Bathra the Wind Watcher, a troll hermit who lives between Alterac Mountains and the Western Plaguelands. He is a skilled weapon maker and a powerful shaman. To find Bathra, go to the river that flows along Terran Mill's eastern flank. Follow it north. Bathra is camped near the ruins that rest along the river's eastern bank. Uh, we could definitely See check that out at some point. Probably very soon if it is a weapon upgrade. So we have our Berserker Stance. And wow, has it been a long time since I've seen that icon. I actually did not remember that it looked like that at all. Okay, awesome. We have auto attack on there. Perfect. All right, I do want to eventually try some dual wielding here. So we should probably figure out what we can even do in Berserker Stance. Um, well, let's do something like this. Uh, challenging Shout, we have up there. We want Demoralizing Shout. Some of these things I probably need to put in the same place they're at, like every time. Which is really not how we have our bar set up. Are we going to use Slam? I have no idea. I'm hoping that we can use Heroic Strike. We can't use Rend, which is interesting. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be like a lot that we can do. We can't shield bash either, which is... Can we Sunder Armor? Huh. Let's do something like that. Because we'll still probably charge in and then we'll... We'll charge in and then we'll flip. Um, but yeah, I'm just wondering... Are we going to get some more abilities... To go along with that? And also, can we already dual wield or is that something that we're going to have to train? Yeah, we, we can't even dual wield yet. And this guy does not act as a warrior trainer. Strangely enough. You'd think that he would, right? But he doesn't. Okay, well, we have our Berserker Stance. We have a lead on another warrior quest. Uh, that's already green, so I guess if we're going to do this, we should we should probably do it soon. Sooner rather than later. So I think my step now is that we're going to head somewhere where, you know, we can get a warrior trainer involved and see what we have to learn if we can actually, if we can do a Berserker Stance right now, if that's viable or not. Um, obviously, if we if we can't learn dual wield, then there's no point. But I'm fairly certain we'll be able to learn dual wield, so let's go check that out, shall we? All right, let's go see what the warrior trainer has to say. Well, not say, but let's see if they have any new skills for us to learn, such as dual wield. What can I do for you? 
Not yet. Very strange. Um, well, we could grab Berserker Rage. Warrior enters a Berserker Rage, becoming immune to fear and incapacitate effects and generating extra rage when taking damage. Can only use that in Berserker Stance. Which, since we can't dual wield right now, all we're going to be doing is... Our critical hit chance is going to be increased by 3% and all damage taken is increased by 10%, so I probably won't use that um, until we can dual wield. So I, I don't think I'm going to grab this. I know we could we could probably use it in stance dance it, so we could pop into Berserker, we could pop Berserker Rage, and then we could hop back out. Let's grab it. I probably need this too, but I don't want to spend the gold on it. Be careful. And maybe we'll think about, you know, do we want to do a respec? You know, right now, I guess not really. If we had a two-hander, I would, I could try that, but we don't really have... I don't think we have anything. I might have something in the bank we could use. Oh, we do have a talent point right now, actually. What would we change? Well, if we were using a two-hander, we'd want to get down into this. Which means we probably would have spent less points uh, over in protection. And we probably would have spent less points on deflection. And then maybe we would get into two-hand specialization. It's definitely something to think about. I'm at a point where I'm just ready to try something a little bit different and see how that spices up combat and just be able to take the time to learn a different spec. Seems like it'd be something interesting to do at this point, so we'll see. So I went ahead and grabbed the Stonecutter Claymore of the Bear. Nine stamina, nine strength, 23.9 damage per second. And I think we're going to go ahead well, and we're going to respec here. For the Alliance. Oh, it does cost one gold the first time. For some reason I thought it was free the first time. And let's do something that's going to focus on damage for a while, since we've kind of had a split between, you know, having some defensive abilities like deflection, we went into shield specialization and toughness. Let's see how our game flow is when we just focus on some damage. See how that goes. I think we're still going to want some of the same things here. I think we want improved rend. I don't think we can go wrong with that. And I think we want at least the two points in improved heroic strike to get us down to the next tier. Increase the amount of rage generated from charge. Or do we want tactical mastery? That is a good question. We want to get into Deep Wounds. We might not be doing a lot of stance dancing if we're not using a shield. Well, let's take this. We could grab that, but we don't want to really be in a lot of AoE situations. All right, let's grab Deep Wounds. And do we want to go back and grab the last point here? I think we do. And we could put a point into Improved Overpower or we could just put a point into Tactical Mastery. And then we're going to grab Two Hand Specialization. Increases the damage you deal with two-handed melee weapons by 1%, so we'll get that up to 5%. That's going to be huge, I think. Increase the critical strike damage bonus of your abilities and battles in all stances. Critical strike damage bonus. Yeah, that's, that's a very, very interesting. These specializations would be great but only in a world where we can ensure that we're going to be sticking with one type. 
And right now, I don't think we're living in that world. So I don't know if points being spent in these is going to be worth it. Or not. Probably not right now, right? We have four points left. I think both of these are interesting. I think the duration, area of effect and duration. Oh, okay, it's not the effect, it's the area of effect. Increase our chance to get a critical. And then increases critical strike damage. So these two kind of almost work together. Like if you go into this, into Impale, it's probably worth it to come over and get Cruelty. I would think. We could grab Sweeping Strikes. Your next five melee attacks, strike an additional opponent. That's going to be really useful when we pull an extra mob. Let's just grab it so we have it. It's another ability that we haven't had a chance to play with yet. So we could definitely check that out. And let's spend two points here. I'd really love to, to take this. Gives you a 1% chance to get an extra attack on the same target after dealing damage with the sword. That's really cool. However... I think we just go here with our last point. Okay, this is what we're going to go with for a while, and hopefully we'll have some fun with it. We need to do a couple things. We need to get Sweeping Strikes somewhere on our bar. We're not going to have Shield Bash, and that's going to be very interesting. We don't really have anything else that can interrupt that I'm aware of. I like Intercept a lot. That might be something that I would use to tr run somebody down who, you know, was running away and didn't get hamstringed properly. Alright, let's go with something like this. Alright, so we have followed the river north from Hillsbrad Foothills. And we're looking for the Wind Watcher, and he looks like he's right over here in the first ruins that you encounter as you head north along the river on the eastern side, just like the quest said. We've also scaled up our two-handed swords to 130, so we're actually hitting with it now. How you doing, Mars? You have traveled far, young warrior. I see fire in your eyes. You seek a weapon of great power, yes? I could help you with your quest, and you can help me with mine. Okie dokie. I have spent ages watching this sight. I watched so that one day I might see the great Cyclonian fall. But I have not yet found a champion to defeat the Windlord. Perhaps you are that champion. Prove it to me. Gather the items I need to summon Cyclonian, and I will know you are a great warrior. Perhaps then you can defeat him and gain his whirlwind heart. If so, then I will infuse the heart's power in a weapon, and I will give that weapon to you. Here is a parchment with the items I need. Okay. Below you will find that which is needed for my spell to summon the great Cyclonian. May fortune go with you. Life root. This may be gathered from the wilderness or gained from Withervine Beast of Duswall the Marsh. Its power will be necessary to draw the life essence of Cyclonian into the world. So we have life root. Blood scalp tusks. The tusk of the blood scalp trolls in Stranglethorn Vale have a rare quality. The deprivation of the blood scalps is concentrated in their tusks. And if ground into powder, their vile powers may be unleashed. Essence of the Exile This essence is gained through the fusion of the three charms of the elemental exiles in the Arathi Highlands. Gather Thunder Ring, Burning, and Cresting charms from the elementals, then place eight of each in my cauldron. From the charms, the essence of the exile will form. So, we could probably do this one in a few levels. Stranglethorn Vale, same thing, it's going to be a while, but at least we have the life root. 
it's strange because, you know, the initial quest leading us here is green. And this one is actually red, so. But see, so we have the light fruit, so we'll have to hang on to that. 30 tusks. And then we have to grind 8 of each of the elementals. And put all their essences in the cauldron, 8 of each. So that's a little bit of work. And we can't do it right now because we're just not at level for it. So that's going to have to take a little bit of a back seat. And we're going to have to think of what we are going to do next. We could head back to the Rathi Highlands and we could hunt down hints of a new plague. Which is at Goshek Farm in the Arathi Highlands. We also eventually have to go back to the Tower of Eth Ethelax and fight all those warlocks that obliterated us a few levels ago. That might be something we'll do next time that we find ourselves in Kalimdor. I think for now, we start on Hints of a New Plague. Yeah, that's really... That's really all we have right now that's, sub, that's at level for us. And then we might need to maybe check out a few different areas. Stone Talon, perhaps. To see if there's any green items. So I think we'll take a break here. When we come back, we'll go back to Arathi. And we'll do what we can in the Highlands. And we might have to find another zone. There may be someone pointed out that there may be green level quests for us to do back in Stone Talon. So we can check that out, definitely. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Sorry this was kind of a short one today. I just wanted to keep it focused on these warrior quests. And this next one we're just going to have to wait on. So not much to do about that. But we'll see you guys again real soon. As always, I appreciate the support. Take care and wish me luck.